Now, let me, let me throw one other thing in there. When you movement screen and find a deficiency, mm-hmm. there's, there's two ways you could approach it. You yeah. could either inject more functional exercise, mm-hmm. which is just basically like adopting a healthier diet, yeah. or you could specifically target the deficiency. Mm-hmm. So let's, let's compare it to nutrition. If we found, Chris, that you were deficient in vitamin D, mm-hmm. we could basically say, hey, add more vitamin D-rich foods to your diet. Or we could temporarily supplement vitamin D to really make a aggressive, very, very uh, proper change. Mm -hmm. So the difference in functional exercise and corrective exercise isn't necessarily the move that you do. Mm -hmm. It's the baseline that you set and the deficiency that you identify. So Mm -hmm. functional exercise is like simply adding more holistic uh, practices to your diet. Corrective exercise mm-hmm. is the off growth of movement screening and movement assessment where you specifically and reliably and objectively identify a deficiency mm-hmm. and temporarily inject a specific functional move targeted directly at hip mobility, ankle mobility, core stability, shoulder stability. So corrective exercise and functional exercise look very much the same, Mm -hmm. but we have tighter criteria and a much better baseline for corrective exercise. So you could almost say corrective exercise is a temporary supplement Mm -hmm. that that really gets you out of dysfunction fast. Once you're out of dysfunction, learn from your mistake and adopt a more functional platform in your workout Mm -hmm. and remove the need for supplementation. So I think a lot of people confuse the terms corrective exercise and functional exercise because they, they look a lot the same. They use the same equipment. They have the same movement patterns. Corrective exercise cannot be practiced if yeah. you don't identify a deficiency first, which sure. is why screening is, is in, our, in our wheelhouse.